What was as impressive as the discovery of a treatment for cancer has been the development of new techniques to diagnose with tremendous accuracy the presence of precancerous cells. Um, so one, is, one thing here is issues of parallelism. We have was here, uh, which is a past tense, has been, which is a present perfect, which is, um, brings, a, brings us basically right up until the present day or very recently. So we need to, set, we need to have the two in more or less the same time frame so, um, so we have was versus has been. Was isn't going to work. Uh, B also has was, so let's not have that. Um, C doesn't have its own verb to mess things up. Um, D has has been, which would be parallel to has been, and E has has been. So now we have to decide between C, D, and E. Um, the other thing here, we, we want to make sure we have... Um, correct comparisons. Um, so let's just start with E and work our way back up. The discovery of a treatment for cancer has been no less impressive as. When you do comparisons and you, well, there's really, when you do comparisons you need the word than. No less X than. So choice E doesn't, ha choice E has less but no than. It has as, which isn't a correct idiom, so we get rid of E. Uh, D has discovering a treatment for cancer has been none the less impressive than. The problem is none the less doesn't mean the same thing as no less. None the less uh, is a different phrase that means um, something like in spite of that uh, or you know so which is not what we want to say at all so eliminating choice D leaves us only choice C even though it's a kind of a inverted construction no less impressive has been um, the development. Uh, this is a, a fixture, a, an acceptable, a common um, inverted structure in English that people are pretty comfortable with, where they may not be comfortable with a lot of other inverted uh, sentence structures. So, choice C it is.